Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years. Hi, I'm Cherry Johnson with Watauga County Arts Council, and I'll bet you recognize the lady that's with me today as Judy Gary. Uh, Judy is a local author of some note, and um, she's involved in an awful lot of things involved in right. writing and books and everything literary, right, Judy? That's right. I'm here to talk to, to, you, to you today about the High Country Festival of the Book in celebration of all things literary. That's is just right in your, down your alley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so much down your alley. Yes. <laughs> now, Judy, you're involved with this because you're involved with all the writers in the community, with the library. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about that. Well, with the High Country Writers, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm involved with the High Country Writers, but this or this event is sponsored by the Friends of the Watauga right. County Library, and I'm also a member of that. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, to benefit the Friends of the Library programs and the library itself. Right. So we have the Festival of the Book coming up on June the 22nd mm -hmm. is the is the primary event uh, all day event at the Watauga, new Watauga County High School right and then some events uh, the prior uh, prior to that on the 21st Friday the 21st a writers workshop at the Watauga County Library mm -hmm. and the ban the banquet biscuits books and ballads our kickoff banquet at Tweetsie Railroad with uh, Sharon McCrum, uh -huh. New York Times best-selling author, best mm -hmm. known for her ballad series, and of course you can't talk ballads without mentioning uh, without mentioning Mary Green. Of and course, Mary mm -hmm. will be there performing some of the ballads that inspired. Uh, Sharon and her books. That's so wonderful. It's going to be a great event. So on Friday, it's focused on authors or mm -hmm. potential authors, people who are wanting to hone their skills. Well, oh, yes, or mm -hmm. just network. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the workshop on Friday will be all day, 8.30 to 4. Uh -huh. We'll include lunch. We'll have speakers. Uh, and presenters, Ed Southern, who was an editor for John F. Blair for years, right. and is now president of the North Carolina Writers Network. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have Glenn Bruce, who has been a working screenwriter for years, right. and will be uh, newly uh, teaching at App Appalachian State this fall, huh. will be presenting. Um, Ann Clark, Clark will be talking about dialogue, making right. your dialogue work. Uh -huh. And Alan Gratz, whose young adult novels have been on the ALA recommended list for years, will be talking right. about that. And then I'll be uh, presenting on uh, bringing your on world building, bringing your setting alive, what you have to do to bring your setting alive for your readers. And we'll be doing some workshopping and some writing in that part of the program. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. And there's a fee for that. There is a fee. It's mm -hmm. $40 mm -hmm. per person. It includes lunch. And part of that will be tax deductible as a contribution. Now, is the day over after that? No, no. <laughs> after that, we'll be, we have bis the Biscuit b Books and that's Ballads. That's the evening. Oh, gotcha. That's the evening. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. for everybody. That's not just for the writers. Right. Everybody is invited. That's also a ticketed event. Uh-huh. $50 a person. 35 of it's tax deductible. You can find out more about these events at uh, highcountryfestivalthebook.com right. and at the Watauga County Public Library. You can get printouts of all the information. That's great. Now on Saturday, on Saturday. it's a free event. Do I understand that correctly? It is. It's a okay. free event for everybody from the age where they where they can they can make eye contact with you when you read to them <laughs> to I believe our oldest participant I'm not sure if she's going to be 98 or 99 in October, wow. but I don't want to, I, I, maybe 99. Hmm. And uh, so it's for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's a free event. We have programs all day, speakers, right. um, including Catherine Stripling Beyer, Alan Gratz, uh, gosh, Mike Morris. There are so many. I encourage you to go to the website and, and see who everyone who's presenting. And there'll be a couple of panels, mm -hmm. mystery panels with mis regional mystery authors. Mm -hmm. And then in the exhibit area, 40 exhibitors, including, um, well, the, uh, the largest exhibitor is the Scholar's Bookshop from Appalachian State. Right. But even though that's housed on the Appalachian State campus, it is a self-sustaining independent bookstore. Uh -huh. So that, the Scholar's Bookshop will be selling uh, Sharon McCrum's books. She mm -hmm, will be there mm -hmm. midday. And those of the other presenters. Mm -hmm. And then the exhibitors will also be selling books. So, so you That's can buy great. books and a lot, a lot of books. <clears throat> and um, and I, I believe and I heard there are children's activities as well. That's right. Now, what can, what can a child do at this event? Well, they can pick out a free book. Uh-huh. 
Under 18, uh, they get to pick a free book. Right. And there will be face painting and balloon, uh, balloon animals and re uh, stories being read and just kids all kinds of activities. Kids and all activities. Uh -huh. I think right. I read somewhere about book crafts. I'm not quite sure what that is. You know, I've been fascinated by that. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, I'm just going to have to go find that out myself. <laughs> I heard that. I heard about that too. It's some people from the Watauga County Library are doing okay. some things with book crafting. Interesting. Well, there mm -hmm. are all kinds of things that can be done. All That's kinds right. of cool directions. Now there. There are other groups participating in this. Mountain Alliance is one of them. That's right. And what are they doing? Mountain Alliance is doing our food. Mm -hmm. We will have breakfast and lunch available. Um, they're billing it as kid-friendly, healthy food. So mm -hmm. I'm curious to see what that's going to be. And that will be food for sale, and the proceeds go to support the Mountain Alliance programs, right. mm -hmm. which, as most of us know, it's uh, a nonprofit that fosters leadership right. in high school mm -hmm. age mm -hmm. students through their activities. And so. I think I also read somewhere that it's Children's Council, I mean the, the, the Playhouse, Children's Playhouse. That's right, the Children's Playhouse is also there. participating. So this That's is right. a community event. It is. There's just, uh -huh. no There's just no reason to be anywhere else. That's exactly on right. On Saturday, uh, June the 22nd, mm -hmm. then to be at the new Watauga County um, High School. Um, those of you who are familiar with the high school know that uh, it's very accessible. Right. Parking's great. Mm -hmm. And um, and then if you're not familiar with the high, new high school, this is your excuse to go explore. That's right. That's right. And it's a really wonderful building. It is. We are very, very Beautiful. proud of that school. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be... It's, used in so many ways by so much of the community and one of the ways I don't know if you figured this out yet but in the commons area where you're gonna have mm -hmm. a lot of your activities is an elevator shaft mm -hmm. and on the back of the elevator shaft is a community project that took place at the oh. beginning of the uh, opening of the school or near mm -hmm. the opening uh, the Arts Council worked with Watauga County students from the high school uh, and uh, with uh, uh, Pam Brewer mm -hmm. to create a mosaic that it is. It's encompasses a, that. It's a it's a it's like a bas relief. It it's is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I wondered. I didn't know that. That was the arts council at work. I'm impressed, <laughs> and I believe you're having an event on we Saturday are. afternoon. That Saturday afternoon, we'll be presenting mm -hmm. Jack and the Beanstalk. Okay. Uh, we'll have local performers, all children and the age, uh, rising first graders to rising tenth graders that are mm -hmm. participating in the Missoula Children's Theater production, which is part of our summer arts camp. Mm -hmm. The summer arts camp is a week-long activity where we celebrate all of the arts in a variety of ways and uh, we'll be partnering with you and sharing that building That's right. and so I guess culminating everything with our Jack and the Beanstalk production. That's we'll be right kind of because it's at, at four Yes, uh -huh. and so you can spend all day at the book festival and then go right into the uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. Sit down in that comfortable down. auditorium yes. and relax after you've had That's a busy right. day. That's right. <laughs> so we're just going to have a wonderful day. That's right. All I right. look forward to we seeing you We encourage you to be part of it. Mm -hmm. we, we look forward to seeing each other, but also you. Yes. I uh, hope that all of you will make a point of being at Watauga High School on June the 22nd. That's right. Uh, and also being... At Participating in the events mm -hmm. on the 21st mm -hmm. at the Watauga County Library for the Writers' Workshop. Right. And then for our banquet, Biscuits, Books, and Ballads with Sharon McCrum and, and Mary Green. And that will be at? Tweetsie Railroad. Right. Mm -hmm. And tickets for both of the ticketed events on Friday are available on the website, highcountryfestivalofthebook.com, or at the Watauga County Library. All right, Judy, thank you Listen. so much for sharing thank this you. with us. Thank you for what you do for oh. the arts in this community, and particularly the literary arts. Well, I'm just on the committee. Mm -hmm. We need to add, thank Suzanne Thompson, who's mm -hmm. the president of the Friend, Friends of the Watauga County right. Library, for bringing all this together, and Monica at the library, oh, and absolutely. all the staff, mm -hmm. and the, the committee members for making it happen. It's a group activity. It's a, definitely a group activity. Yeah. Be a part of it. Be a yeah. part of the arts in Watauga County. Mm -hmm. Check our website for watauga-arts.org for this and so much more. Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years.